want the uh, presentation again because uh, Mr. Edgar pressed the closed meeting button a bit too quickly. Um, so, just want to recap what we are going to be doing. Um, we're going to be talking in general terms about the current situation. Then we'll talk about the grades for the college and the sixth form applications. Uh, Ms. Priestler and myself will then talk a little bit about the uh, applications and interviews, and then we will discuss the, the questions that were asked at the end. <clears throat> so, the first thing I'd like to say to you is please do not worry about the current situation. Um, there's not a huge amount you can do about it, so just focus on the things that you can control and that you can look after. So. Make sure that you're looking after yourself physically, make sure that you are doing your schoolwork so that you stay on top of things and you give yourself the best possible chance moving forward. I've used a lot of uh, Mackesy's pictures and I think what this one suggests is that yes, it might feel a bit difficult just now, it might feel a bit stormy, but the storm will end and we will get through it. And as a school, we will support you every step of the way in that. Um, hopefully you feel supported with Year 11 tutors and the work that Ms. Priestner is doing in terms of your careers and your next step. So let's have a look at this. Everybody is feeling the same. So please don't think you're the only one. I think we're all completely fed up. We're all missing friends. Um, I think deep down as well, you'll be missing school, you'll be missing your hobbies and your activities. I, for one, am missing taking my children to all their sporting activities at the weekend. And yes, it's perfectly natural to be a little bit worried about the future, particularly when it's uncertain. But let's put it into perspective. Everyone is in the same position. Every school child in the world is having the concerns that you are having. And all this talk about being behind and catching up, do not worry about that. You have got plenty of time to catch up and you've got plenty of time to be successful and you will be successful. So just bear that in mind. You are not the only people going through this at this moment in time. You are not alone. So take confidence from that and just relax. And please, please, if you've got any issues, get in touch with your tutor. So, all this talk about coming back to school. Well, I'm afraid at this moment in time, we don't know exactly when. So, we have been promised that we'll get a couple of weeks uh, notice on that. So, that will hopefully um, let us get things sorted out and be able to communicate with you. GCSEs. Well, there's no decision been made on the format. Um, they are consulting with schools and parents and other bodies at the moment. It does look as though there will be some form of exams in the summer. Uh, it looks as though they'll possibly be marked by teachers. But we will also do exams, uh, but not straight away. We'll allow you to settle back into school before you sit down and do any mock exams. And the reason we need to do these exams is so that it provides us with the data that will help us make a judgment on the final grades that we are going to submit to the exam boards. So my message to you is keep working and keep motivated. You will need to do this work for your choices next year. So the grades for college applications. These are based on data drop one and it will be a school decision. And it, so please do not approach individual members of staff. Colleges and sixth forms are sympathetic to your situation, as are we. And we will give you every chance to secure the course you want. But I want to say we're not going to inflate the grades just for the sake of it. So you have to earn those grades. So again, keep working and keep motivated. Now, Mrs. Priestner is just going to talk now about the applications. OK, I've spoken to a number of colleges and sixth forms in the last few days. They're not duly concerned about um, dates of applications, um, but they did sort of say they really need those applications in as soon as you can because you might not get your first choice if um, you don't get those in in the next few weeks. Um, 
six forms. Quegg's deadline is the 26th of February. Again, they'll take late applications, but they're really saying to get the right choices, the 26th of February is really the cutoff date. JB Sports, they're interviewing on the 22nd of February and um, they're really looking for um, expressions of interest before then if you're thinking of, of joining their, their sports course. But all the colleges and sixth forms have got career staff. Um, they're there to help you if you've got any queries, but of course I'm here to help you as well. And um, please um, email me or ePraise message me um, if you've got any concerns or worries or you want to chat through the interview process, you know, I'm here for you and, and just get in touch. So, you'll have interviews coming up. <laughs> they will mostly, I would imagine, be remote interviews over Zoom or Teams. So, I'm just going to say what I would say for any live interview. Be prepared. Do your homework. Why do you want to do that course? Communicate that to the interviewer. Be smart, make an effort. That will create a very, very positive impression that you are taking this seriously. Communicate clearly why you want to do the course. Why should they give you a place over someone else? So think about that. So do your research, talk about your career path, talk about what you could bring to the college. Be confident, because nobody else is gonna sell you but yourself, and be yourself. And don't worry, because they will expect you to be a little bit nervous. So don't worry about that. Have a bit of a practice at home. Um, uh, get, get your parents to um, fire some questions at you. If you want me to give you a call and uh, we can go through some interview questions, I'm really happy to do that. Just get in touch. So questions. There were no questions on the original um, presentation other than an observation by Mr. Ashford that you can, in actual fact, apply for as many uh, courses as possible. Usually we'd say to you have a plan A and a plan B, but I think it might be useful to have a plan C and maybe even a plan D this time. You can always turn down offers. Don't think that you're going to do a disservice or you, the college are going to be upset with you. If you feel that the, your first offer is better suited to you, take that. This is Tristan. Yeah, I think um, when we get to August and we get our results, if you've applied for several courses, you've got that thinking time up to August to decide really what you want to do. And you'll be back in school before then as well, so you can chat to us about the choices um, and what you're thinking about. So get a few more applications in than just the one, um, and then you've got that, that decision-making time um, up until August. And if you've got any questions that this presentation raises, please get in touch with Mrs. Priestner. I'm sure she'll be more than happy to respond to any questions that you have. So I'll finish up with another Macassie cartoon. So at the moment in time, we might not be able to see an end to what we're going through. But if you just keep taking one step at a time, forward, always looking forward, always looking to make that next step, then you will get through this. We will support you, so please get in touch if there are any concerns that you may have. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening to this. As I said, if there are any questions specifically to do with careers, please get in touch with Ms. Priestner. And if you've got any general queries, get in touch with your tutor in the first instance. Thank you and all the best. <laughs>